All right, before I install it, I figured I would uh, do a quick size comparison between my uh, 9800 GT Ultimate and the, oh man, that's a long name, GTX 560 Ti 448 Core Classified Edition. Wow. They need to make that name longer, I think. That's not long enough. But there's a quick size compara comparison. It's probably about an inch, an inch longer. I probably should just measure it, but I'm far too lazy to do that. And you guys can find that information off of Google or something. So now I'm going to get that thing in there. Alright, just a very quick look. That's what it looks like inside of my case with the computer off. Alright, and that's what it looks like powered up. And that's what it looks like with my side of my case on and everything. I think that looks pretty cool. That matches my case very nicely, I think. But now it's time to actually install the drivers, even though I said that last time. But now we're actually going to do it, probably. All right, well, I tried to install the drivers at first just using the normal, you know, search thing up here at the top. And those drivers didn't work, so what you have to do, at least at the time of this video, is you have to download the 290.53 beta drivers and get whatever, you know, ones you have for either 32-bit or 64-bit. And then just install them like you normally would, and then it'll notice your video card. I just thought I'd point that out so people don't go and be like, what the hell is going on here? But now let's move on and get some, uh, some stock benchmarking going on here. Alright, with 3 d Mark 06, it got 30,482 3D Marks, bone stock. Then we got 12,009, 14,087, and 8,289 for the CPU. So, that's pretty darn nice, bone stock. So, now it's time to move on to some Vantage. Okay, so in Vantage, it got 27,725. The GPU got 22,913, and the CPU got 74,938, and that is because physics is on, and I don't turn that off because it's a feature of the GPU. Even though very many games, I think there's only like 10 maybe that use it, but I still leave it on. Alright, anyway, let's move on to the next test. Oh, well, here's the other min or, uh, miscellaneous things. I'll just pan down slow so you can read them. And if I go too fast, you can always pause the video. Alright, let's move on. Well, it gets 6,032 3D Marks and 3D Mark 11. There's some of the other information. Alright, well, now it's time to do a quick heaven benchmark. Alright, it got 43.5 frames a second with 1,096. And this is just... I just ran it. I didn't change anything. This is just starting it and running it. But, alright, I think that's about it for this video. I'll get into some benchmarking and some of those other games that I did on my other video in a later video. Because I don't want this one to turn into a 20 minute video. So, till the next vid, peace out guys. I almost forgot. Uh, here's the temperatures real quick. Again, I just left this open the whole time I did all my testing. So the hottest it ever got was 80. And I have a feeling it didn't do that for very long. It probably hit that, and then it ramped the fan up, and it went back down. But that's just on AutoFan, which I will not be running. I'll be making my own custom fan profiles. But, alright, for real this time, peace out, guys.